Okay, so iOS 18 is out now and I've been playing with it for the last couple of months and I found there are a few really cool new features in iOS 18 to help boost your productivity. Most of them aren't. Most of them are just like making the flashlight brighter and not. But there are a few good ones and I wanted to take you through them in this video. Starting with the home screen layout. So if you're a minimalist, iOS 18 is great because now you can leave space and really design your home screen in a nice minimal way. And you can see I have just a few apps on my home screen. And when I swipe right, I get all of my other apps in my app library. Of course, one of the big features of iOS 18 is you can now move your apps across the invisible grid on the screen without any constraints. You can also make the app icons larger, which removes the text from underneath the app, which just gives it a cleaner, more minimal look. And when I look at my phone, I no longer get stressed out with a million different things in my face. I look at this and I can breathe. And when I swipe to the left, I have all of my quick shortcut widgets. This isn't really specifically to iOS 18, but I thought I'd show you anyway. You can now also customize control centers. So when you swipe from the top right, you'll find that you'll have pages and pages worth of controls. I've condensed all of those basically into one page to the most common controls that I need access to. If you hold your finger down in an empty space, you can really easily resize some of these icons and, and move them around and basically just make the control center look neat because when you first upgrade to iOS, OS 18. You'll just have pages and pages of stuff that you probably don't need. You can also now change the lock screen shortcuts. It's forever been camera and torch. But now if you hold down your finger on the lock screen and hit customize, you can then go into your lock screen and you can see that you now have the option to remove the icons that are there and replace them with new actions. And there are a whole bunch of new actions. I've mapped one of mine to my house alarm so that I can quickly access turning on and off my house alarm when I'm in and out of the house. So that's definitely made my life easier, just that one shortcut, removing all friction from having to do something as laborious as turning on and off your alarm. Speaking of shortcuts, there is a new feature called vocal shortcuts, which is a little bit hit and miss. I've tried using it over the last couple of weeks and it has been useful for very specific scenarios. But just to give you an example, you can set up an action and then a trigger word. And then all you need to do is say the trigger word and the phone will do the thing. And so I have one, for example, for focus mode. So if I want to change focus modes, I just say work time. And it will do it. If I want to take a screenshot, I'll just say take screenshots. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's a little bit niche, but at the same time, you might find some use for it in your workflow. And it's a feature that honestly no one was asking for, but I think there'll be many, many uses for it. Okay, next is the Notes app. And I personally live in the Notes app. So these iOS 18 upgrades are very welcome from me. The first is you can now record audio into your notes and have them be transcribed, which if you're like me and just hate the tension of having to write things down all the time, and you just wanna speak your ideas and then come back to them later, this feature now lives in Apple Notes. You also get it in the voice memo app as well, but I tend to use notes more often. Once you've recorded something and it's been transcribed, it's then searchable in Spotlight. So if you wanna go back to something that you had said, but you can't remember exactly when or where that note is, everything's searchable and I love this feature. Also another really underrated feature that's been added to notes is the ability to do math sums within notes themselves. I find myself crunching numbers all the time for some random reasons and actually just being able to press equals and then it working everything out for you is it's useful it's nice to have there and it just makes apple notes that much more powerful and the final cool thing is they finally added the ability to change the text color within your notes you could do this on uh, the Mac version of Notes, but you just couldn't do this on the phone. And it just makes your notes more legible, being able to format in different ways. So that's also really useful. If you're on iOS 18 and you're not using Apple Notes, I seriously would consider checking it out. And the final noteworthy productivity feature I have found in iOS 18 is with Calendar. You can now view things in your calendar in three different views. You have compact, stacked, and details, and you can flip between them, and you can also pinch to flip between them. They just give you glanceable information it just makes it a lot easier to navigate your calendar. So I think they're kind of catching up to Fantastical a little bit with their kind of UI improvements. And I have switched to the calendar app just because it, it feels nicer to use now than it did in iOS 17. You can now also integrate directly with reminders in your calendar app. So you can create reminders and manage them from within calendar. So now if you create a reminder 
anywhere on your phone, it will appear in your calendar based on when you scheduled to do that reminder. The only thing really missing from this feature is that you can't change the duration of the reminders. All of the reminders have the same sort of time span. I'd love to see in a future update the ability to change the duration of the reminders and then you'd really be able to plan out your day between meetings and tasks. But anyway, that's a really cool feature. And there are so many more features that are not going to be released in the initial release of iOS 18. All of the AI stuff like summarizing your text and generating new text. The new Apple Visual Intelligence feature is apparently going to come later this year. There's a new focus mode that learns the kind of notifications you have and prioritizes the important ones. And an all new intelligent Siri, which I'm really looking forward to testing once all of these features are released. But for now, those are for me the best productivity features in iOS 18. Do check them out. And if you found value in this video, please hit the like button. And if you want me to be your personal productivity coach, you know what to do. Until the next one, stay productive.